Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So, um, we should probably send a couple of ships to the patrol as well. To uh, get that done. So uh, let's quickly... I have no money, never mind. So let's uh, deal with Filthy Fellow Smuggler so that we can get money so that we can do that mission. Strong indication... Oh, whoops. We have received reports of a smuggler network that has been raiding both British and Spanish settlements. The stolen goods are then delivered to primarily Spanish ports. There are strong indications that the network is being directed by corrupt Spanish governors. Your mission is to attack one of the smuggler's layers located in this area. Unfortunately, we cannot afford to assign more than two ships to this task. However, local British sailors who have suffered from the network's activities are eager to support you. Send one of the ships to land our troops where they can join forces with the settlers arriving from the north. Then execute a decoy attack on the smuggler's outpost. When the smugglers move from their lair to support the outpost, sail the second ship to the south beach, land our troops and attack the unprotected base. Excellent. So we got uh, two vessels ready for that in the last episode, as you might remember. One of our uh, newly captured uh, the Tosha and of course uh, San Pedro. You are in command of a flotilla comprised of two of his majesty's ships, on a mission to raid the smuggler's lair. The first is already approaching the operations area, while the second one is falling from a distance. The lair is located at this position. It is protected by a strong force of smugglers and supported by an unknown number of Spanish troops. A head-on attack would be costly and uncertain. A marine regiment has been sent to gather volunteers from our settlers and gather any available artillery. They are expected to join us soon. Lander troops aboard the first ship, join with the settlers and launch a decoy attack on this outpost. We hope the smugglers will send most, if not all, of their forces to protect the post. And at the appointed time, the second ship will sail into sight. When the smugglers respond as expected, sail with her to this position. Land our troops, attack the unprotected base and capture any supplies found. The operation needs a successful combination of discipline, speed, timing and luck. Make haste, Captain. Land your troops, join with the settlers and attack the outpost. Godspeed. Okay, let's... Uh Speed things up. It's gonna take a while before uh, she arrives here. So, uh, yeah. Since it's gonna take a while, I'll be uh, back when uh, something happens. Welcome back. It looks like something has happened. We've got some uh, settlers and uh, marines and stuff that have uh, approached the battlefield. Our vessel is nearing uh, the target. Let's get those, these troops to uh, move up and uh, start the offensive. And uh, we'll probably have our vessel pop up some troops here. So that they can uh, flank up here while these guys do the frontal attack. I think that actually sounds like a pretty decent uh, idea. It's uh, something I realized literally just now. Ah, uh, skirmishers. I hate them. Okay. Guys are getting into position. Let's just hold uh, this side of the riverbank for now. And we'll see what our uh, main troops can find. Apparently some smugglers. And some cannon. I definitely want to deal with the cannons when I can. Let's get him, boys. 
I want to deal with them. But I can deal with the cannon. Okay, excellent. Let's keep this uh, bombardment going. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's uh, cross the water. Excellent. Okay, they're routing. Some friendly fire is unfortunate. Hold up. Okay. Let's move you up. Um, changing plans. Let's have these two cover the rear just in case. Here we go. And now we just need to wait. Are you okay, artillery? Okay, excellent little uh, offensive. And now we just need to wait a moment so that our other ship can uh, sail in. It'll just be in like five in-game minutes, so I'm not going to bother to uh, put in a cut now. I'm lazy. Okay. I have captured the outpost. Thank you, game. Order your second ship to sail to this position. Land your troops and attack the smuggler's base. It's gonna take a while. But, uh, well, let's go. How many knots? 5.2 knots. Not particularly fast. Well, I'll uh, cut in when uh, something... Well, something's happening. Oh. Um, okay. 
Ah. Uh. Let's see if we can uh, trick or uh, come past and uh, snatch that those cannon. And if we can deal with those supplies too, that would be excellent. Okay. Um. Scratch that, fall back. Let's just hold a defensive position. If we can. Let's move the cannon down there. Ensure that they have supplies. Let's fall back with the fusiliers. They're getting a hit a bit too hard for my liking. Come on, stay strong, settlers. Let's send in these settlers to uh, replace the settlers that just broke. Or are in the process of breaking. Okay, let's move you up here. Lies have shattered. Okay, excellent. Okay, good. That should be doable. Ah, they're low on ammo. Um, let's move you there. And let's move you up here. Move you up here as well. These two units of fusiliers will take position here. To hopefully be close enough to replenish uh, on supply. I do want to keep one unit of settler there just in case. This is right. I was imagining we would have to go further than we actually had to go. Come on. Yeah, let's see if we can make an offensive against the cannon. Come on, get the cannon. Okay, capture those. Go attack the, the marines.
You slayer. You start attacking the supply. You start attacking the supply. Excellent. Ah. Let's get, uh... Let's get the, the Marines, well, the army, in on the action. Okay, let's pop them one on each hill. Awesome. Go get them, go get them. Okay, let's uh, start moving on to the outpost. Let's get you into safety. Um, let's see if we can swap you around. Excellent work, man. Excellent work. Okay, let's uh, form a new line. Just make a run for it. Okay, let's form a defensive line. Soon, your sailors will begin transferring the captured supplies from the smuggler's lair to the embarkation point. Protect the supplies, the wagon and the embarkation zone. You can always release wagon crews to use them as infantry when needed. Cool. Um, let's pop one unit of fusiliers here. Um, let's pop one unit of fusiliers here. And one unit here. Okay. Let's have these guys just fall back.
we should have an easy victory on our hands. Just hold your position over here. Okay, those didn't get rescued. Good. Excellent. Let's finish the battle. Quite a few goods and stuff. Can't complain. Um, Phil the Smugglers. Captain, I appreciate the two boxes of fancy cars that your people brought aboard my flagship. Surely you were the right man to handle the mission. Yes, we... Uh, yes, I was. Um, okay. First of all... Let's send uh, these two reserve. And put them aboard uh, El Mayor again. Where they belong. Um... Let's head over here. Let's uh, get our... Uh... A couple of ships ready. For... The mission. Let's just use the Spanish for now. No, not that, Tosha. Rubuk. Sure, Galga and the Rub and the Soledad. They will do this mission. Let's uh, head to the next stage. In town, our sailors discovered a very beautiful picture painted by a young Spanish painter, Francisco Goya, according to the previous owner. This man will pay to get his picture back and we can sell it back to him. Or you can make it a little gift to our admiral. He loves modern art. Um, we'll make a gift to our admiral. That's more reputation. Patrol. The detached squadron handled the situation and returned safely. Excellent. Um, so we're about to end the chapter. Let's go. The past year brought Britain both victories and defeats. We defeated Holland, the war is still going on, but after the Battle of Doggerbank, they are just sitting in their own ports. In the rebel colonies, our army under the command of Charles Cornwallis suffered a series of defeats and capitulated near Yorktown, being surrounded on the ground and blocked from the sea by the French squadron, the Gras. Gibraltar is still under siege, but is holding on, and rebellions caused by exorbitant taxes are breaking out in the Spanish colonies. But in general, things are bad. We lost the Bahamas and Florida. In fact, almost all of the West Indies are now Spanish, despite our sacrifices and efforts. I have been escorting ships to Lower Canada for the past three months in a row. Very boring. Um, the enemy commander, we need some money, so we'll take the money. 28 February 1782, from Kingston, Jamaica. Support base of the Royal Navy at Monastrat in West Indies has been occupied by the French with minimal casualties. 68 artillery guns were taken. The Ontario Express. Um, we can bring four vessels. Um, we can at least add this one to our fleet. We don't have the cash for anything else. Uh, let's change your weapons. Ooh, we can't afford that. Um, let's sell some Spanish. And some trade musket. Switch you over to uh, the 38 Sea Service. Um... I 
I do want to get siege artillery operations eventually so I can get to field artillery. Um, tch -tch -tch. Can't afford any of that. Let's uh, go to max crew. That's all we can do. There we go. And in the next episode, we're going to the Antorio Express. But until then, I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.